and welcome to another Lawn Clippings video from Lawn Fawn. Today is our introduction to Cruising Through Life, one of our brand new sets. We have so many fun things going on over at the blog, lawnfawn.blogspot.com, May 15th through May 19th, 2011. There's um, about 15 stamp sets, I think, up for giveaway, and uh, just you need to just comment to win and go over to see the amazing Design Team samples. They are just incredible. So today I'm going to be um, going through this set, Cruising Through Life. This set is just so much summer fun and it's got this adorable cruiser bike along with some other really fun images like pinwheels and pennant flags and um, it's just it's fun with fun sentiments. I think you guys are just going to love it. So here is our sweet cruiser bike. I just love these. I wish I had one, <laughs> but I guess a stamp will do, right? But this is um, our sweet bike, and I just I just think it's just so adorable. And one of the really fun things about this bike is that it's got this basket in there, and I think you guys, I know you guys would get super creative with this. You could probably put a critter in there or something, but we did uh, uh, put some little flowers in the set that just fit so perfectly in this basket. And so you can do it with or without the flowers, and it's it works either way. And it's just a really, really fun, nice, you know, cute basket there. And the basket empty works too. And this bike is just asking for some really fantastic coloring or paper piecing. You could actually do some really intricate paper piecing with this bike, which would be amazing. Um, but it can also just be stamped on its own in just a color or maybe on some kind of a uh, light kind of pattern paper and then with a color on top of that, just, you know, in an orange or something. It could be really, really cool. So one of the other things that uh, we have for this bike is we have some wind swirls. And these wind swirls will also work very well for the, um, the pennants that we have. Excuse me, not pennants, uh, pinwheels. We have pennants and pinwheels in the set, and I always confuse them. So the pinwheels that we have, it'll be really great for. And what I like to do is kind of, you can actually take these wind swirls and set them all up on the block all at once. So you can kind of just go, okay, I think that would look nice. And then, um, you know, kind of add this one in right here. And this looks super cute off the bike. So I'm just going to stamp this. We'll just do this all in black here. And we have those cute pennants going off. And, um, and I just think it's really sweet. I actually, when I stamped it, I actually took it and moved it a little bit. And you get kind of a cool soft look with the little wind swirls, which I think is really, really fun. So you kind of stamp and then just do like a little bit like that, and it kind of gives a soft look. It looks it looks really cool, especially when you go over it with a colored pencil or marker. Um, and these flourishes, just like we did in yesterday's video, the intro to Bon Voyage video, um, you could create really fun backgrounds with these. Really elegant, just stamping them around um, and creating really elegant backgrounds. So there's that. And another really fun thing in this set is the pennant. And we actually have two sort of, so I call them sticks in the set. And um, they are two different lengths. Um, so there's a long one and a short one. I like the long one personally for the pennant, but they work for the pinwheels also. So what you do is you just take this right here and just stamp it right on the edge of the bike. And this pennant adds so much kind of retro fun to this um, to this bike. I love it. And what we've done is we've created some sentiments that will actually fit inside this pennant. So let's just stamp this pennant right here, just like that. And um, super, super cute. And I also want to stamp it out just a couple more times just to show you the fun sentiments that we have for it. Another fun thing about this pennant is you could use it for so many different things. And one of those is when you put um, the the longer stick on it it kind of looks like one of those flag pins for golf and so it would be really really cute oh you can see those pennants i stamped up there uh it'd be really really cute for like a father's day card or anybody that loves golf like my husband loves golf there's a reason why our dog is named putter <laughs> and so um you could stamp it just like this and that looks would be really cool for a golf card i really like that idea so uh, i just wanted to show you these fun sentiments that we have we have, actually we have three sentiments and an image. So we have this sweet little heart. I just love hearts that goes right, fits right in that pennant flag, which I just think is adorable. 
And then we have three sentiments, and I'll stamp those out for you guys. We have a thank you, which is perfect because I know if you guys are anything, I always need to thank you cards, and I'm really bad about sending them. So I think maybe if the stamp just gets cuter, I'll send more thank yous. So there's a fun thank you that you can stamp in there. There's a yay, so that'd be really cute for like a congratulations or anything happy that's happened for somebody, just like that. And we have a high. So the high is really great for just a general card, just to have those little cards around, um, you know, that you always need to just, just give someone. And you can also always put an image. You could have high on the outside and then put whatever the occasion might be on the inside when you actually need the card. So there's those really fun pennants that's just absolutely adorable. Um, just love those. And then we also have two longer sentiments in this card. So one of the sentiments that we have is I love cruising through life with you. And I think this is just so sweet. And um, it's just a really nice sentiment. And if um, it works really great for a card, but if you were doing a, um, a scrapbook layout, you could actually take, you know, not stamp the I love part and cruising through life with you could work really well as kind of a subtitle on a layout, which could be cool. And um, another thing that you can do with this, because it's such a long sentiment, it can be curved. So, oh, I got stamps everywhere. All right, um, so we can take it actually on the block and kind of curve it like this and have a really great sentiment like this. So let me just stamp that out. The other thing that you can do with this curve stamp is you can actually curve it um, in, in more of a swirly motion so there's that beautiful curve. You could take it and curve it in this swirly motion. And it could actually be coming off the bike like it was the wind. So you could take it and curve it just like this. And you could actually have it come off the bike just like that. And that would be so adorable. Like a really long card, like a business size envelope card um, would be really, really cute like that. I can't wait to do that. So I love the long stamps. Um, that's one of the, such the fun things about clear stamps is you can curve them that way. The other really fun sentiment that we have is follow your dreams. And this is definitely kind of one of my philosophies in life. So I just love it. I think it would be great for a note card set. It's really inspirational. It would work really well with um, the pinwheels and, and the bike. And of course, like any florals you may have. I mean, really any card. I just love the font and such a sweet sentiment that I think is perfect for anybody. Just love that. And so, one of the next things I want to show you guys is just um, some quick coloring, um, Copic coloring of this bike. Obviously you could use um, colored pencils, like I said, leave it blank, paper piecing, but let's do some Copic coloring. So there is our bike all colored and it just looks so super cute and happy and obviously you could change all of the colors up on the bike to get so many different looks and match really fun pattern pa papers that you may have um, in your stash. So really, really fun. So the next thing I want to show you is the pinwheels and as much as I love the bike, sometimes I, the pinwheels are competing for my affection. I love them that much. So um, we have two sized pinwheels that work perfectly with our two sized um, sort of pinwheel stands, for lack of a better word. Pinwheel, you know, the little sticks that, that we use for the pennant up here. And the cool thing is you could stick a pinwheel out of the basket bike or at the, bi the back of the bi bicycle, just like the pennant flag. So here's one of these beautiful pinwheels. And here's another. And I love these two sizes. I just think they look so beautiful together. I'm just gonna clean these off real fast and stamp our our sticks, as I call them. I'm sure there's a better way, maybe handle, something like that. But there's one right there, and then the longer one. And of course, you could use the longer one on the smaller one, or just switch them up. Any way works, and, um, and looks great. 
So there they are. And these pinwheels are just so much fun. Something else I love about the idea of these pinwheels is creating um, a pattern paper with them, which I think is would just be beautiful. So just getting a, color, a couple colors out. And it would actually be really fun to do is cover an entire sheet of you know, eight and a half by 11 paper and then cut it up for your cards. But what you could do is just stamp um, all of these pinwheels around you know, creating some beautiful pattern paper. So just kind of switching between. So here is a beautiful pattern. I just love it and it'd be really great for the background of a card. And then the other fun thing to do with these would be paper piecing or copic coloring or any other kind of color, um, color medium that you like to use um, would look great with these. And so, of course, I got I get ink everywhere. I've always got ink on my hands, and I'm dropping stamps and stuff like that. So you can see kind of that the little shadow image of a pinwheel there. But let's just do some quick Copic coloring real fast right now. So there is our colored pinwheel, and you can see just how much fun and just so it's just scream summer to me. I just love this. This is cruising through life. It is just such a fun set. Um, we've got our fun bike here that has all these fun add-ons like the wind swirls and the flowers and the pennants where you can put all the different phrases in it. Um, and you can also um, use the pennant as like a golf flag like this, which would be really great for a Father's Day card. We have these other fun sentiments um, that uh, one of them is so long that you can actually curve it in a circle or even do like a swirl like it was coming off the bike and the follow your dreams is just such a sweet sentiment the pinwheels are so much fun they could make the coolest pattern paper and then also by themselves they're just so much fun to color and paper piece just such a blast and so um, there's a, just a lot of fun things you can do with this set um, and uh, and it just makes me happy and I think it just screams spring it's just such a beautiful set and so much fun and so um, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your support during this inspiration week. You guys have been amazing. Thank you for YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Blogger and all of your comments and, and everything. We just we can't even say how much we appreciate it. You guys are just the best. And, um, and we will have one more video tomorrow because we are showing all nine sets tomorrow. So I'm just going to go over all nine sets real quickly in a video. I think it'll be fun to see them all. And, um, and I just want to thank you guys so much again from the bottom of our hearts. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.